Here are some dividend news. Uh, UPS declares a dividend raise. Uh, so UPS declares $1.62 per share quarterly, which is a 6.6% increase from the prior dividend of $1.52. Uh, forward yield will be 3.66%. Uh, X dividend date will be February 17th and they will be paying out March 10th. As well, UPS uh, ended up approving a 5 billion share repurchase. Uh, so that is pretty exciting, guys. The last dividend news I do have for you guys is actually Intel ended up uh, actually not declaring a dividend raise. We actually had this on the list for what we were expecting to get a dividend raise for the month of January from Intel. But uh, unfortunately, I did, did have a uh, horrible earnings uh, this past week, I believe is when they reported, but uh, they will be, uh, well, they declared uh, 36 cents per share quarterly, uh, which is what they paid previously on the last quarter X dividend date is February 6th and uh, they will be paying March 1st. What's up everybody, this is Investing Sensei here to bring you episode 172 of the Portfolio Update. So hopefully you guys are doing awesome, I definitely am. You guys already know, it's Sunday, it's time to go over uh, the portfolio, what we bought, what we sold, what options we did, how many dividends we got. Uh, but in this video, I will be going over seven companies that are expected to announce a dividend raise in the month of February. So definitely stick around it's gonna be a very busy video uh, one of the things I did want to get your opinions on is do you guys like the dividend news uh, the quick uh, couple seconds uh, at the beginning of the video let me know I can continue to do those uh, so definitely I uh, want to see your feedback on that but uh, let's go ahead and get started so uh, first thing I do want to pull up is the actual Google Sheets which you guys probably see there's a huge uh, rework uh, and it looks completely different here. Uh, so I reorganized it and the reason why I did this is because this will allow me to uh, add uh, you know, continuous different years, different quarters, different months. Uh, it'll be a lot easier than the way it was structured previously. Uh, so I will be actually releasing my uh, video of how many dividends I made for the month of January, uh, potentially Tuesday. So look forward to it. Make sure that you're subscribed with that notification so you're notified when I upload those videos. But uh, you'll see here at the top, we, st we still have the dividend scripts that we kick off every single Sunday. We'll see how much we uh, grew the dividend snowball. Remember, we're trying to get this to about $325 in dividends on average per month. We're definitely gonna achieve it. I'm pretty confident in that. But uh, the other thing we do have is now we have the annual dividends here. Uh, so it'll be a lot easier because now I can just create another row and add 2024, 2025, and it'll be a lot easier there. You'll see the next one we do have here is the quarterly, which also I will just have to create a new row and we can add a new quarter very, very easy without having to rework other stuff. Uh, you'll see the other one we do have here is the uh, monthly or I guess the annual dividends. Uh, this is structured by month on the columns. So you see January all the way till uh, December, which at the end, it'll have a total amount of dividends we collected for that year. So right now we are going to be working on 2023. So it'll be definitely exciting. We're wrapping up already January. So I will make a video on that and I will show you guys that. But if we look right here, you'll see this is the graph, the annual dividends. This keeps track of all the amount of dividends we collect every single year. So far 2023, we've only collected uh, actually zero. We've actually collected some, but I uh, just need to make that video. But uh, it'll be very easy because all these columns will automatically get populated for us if we look over here this is the same structure or the, the same graph we have as the quarterly dividends every three months we'll see how much we've been growing the dividend snowball as you'll see we are going to be working on 2023 q1 and we're going to see this staircase continue to move upwards in the upwards direction until one day we can actually live off of these dividends if we look at the options uh, premium you'll see that we do have a graph still same thing same structure uh, but you'll see for the month of february so far we've collected 325 dollars 79 for this first week so definitely exciting last month was very amazing for the month of january and then if we look at this other graph right here this one just keeps track of all the dividends we've made as you'll see everything in the blue is 2019 all the way to 2022 so it's just very awesome to see the comparison every single uh, year so the for the month the first month of january when we first started investing you can see how much we've projected and every single month or every single year we see this uh, dividend amount continue to get up 
higher and higher so it's very very motivating but uh, this is the new structure for the dividend google sheets dashboard definitely exciting let me know what you guys think in the comment section but again one thing i do want to go over which we cover remember we do have 2023 goals and uh, first one is to reach 20,000 subscribers so if you're new to the channel consider subscribing with that notification help me reach the 20,000 subscriber mark uh, again every single sunday we're trying to make to uh, 325 dollars per month on average for the full year of 2023 we continue to work work on that and i keep you updated every single week uh, the other one is to reach 118,000 dollars invested if we look over here we have uh, about 110,581 dollars invested so far i did a uh, dollar cost average 100 dollars this week or i guess 120 dollars because we did get a paid dividend from jp morgan so we had to contribute an additional 20 dollars and then uh, the new goal 400 dollars per month on average from selling options We've kind of already surpassed that uh, for the month of January, so definitely motivating there. Uh, but if we look at the dividend payout here real quick, you'll see that we do have a couple companies that we will be getting dividends for the month of February, so it'll be definitely be exciting. We'll kick this off at the towards the end of the video, and we'll see uh, what new companies declare dividends. But uh, let's go ahead and get started, guys. All right, guys. So you guys can see that the portfolio is at $193,807.51. This is actually down about $133.94, which is about 0.07%. In the red, uh, overall $5,697.27. Uh, in the green, which is about 3.03%, which is pretty awesome as well. You guys already know we were actually down a couple months ago you guys can go back here and watch those videos but we've been continuing to stay focused dollar cost average sell options and uh, collect uh, you know just create more wealth if we look at the positions here you'll see that we are up about fifty three thousand two hundred seventy dollars and seventy cents which is about sixty two point four eight percent the market has just been uh, going upwards lately and uh, some of my options have been in the money but we will continue to manage those as much as we can uh, we will see right here that our cash balance is at $55,274.98. Majority of this money is uh, actually aimed to go towards uh, SCHD so that we can, uh, uh, you know, invest this into that awesome ETF. But if we look at the positions, you'll see that we do have some covered calls for Apple, which will expire on the 17th of February. I did have to roll these and uh, we are still deep in the money. So we will see what happens. The reason why I had it traded all the way to the 17th X dividend date for Apple is coming up next week. So definitely do not want to get my shares taken away. We'll see what happens there. Next one we do have, we had a roll, the JP Morgan covered call, and we'll see if this one does expire worthless or not. We'll see how the market uh, actually plays out next week. Uh, and then we have Altria that we did have to manage. We had to roll this one again, $47 strike price till next Friday. And then same thing for Microsoft. We rolled this one, a covered call, two fifty-seven and fifty cents till next Friday. And then, guys, the last one here for Nvidia. Uh, so this one we did have to actually roll. Uh, this one's till the twenty-fourth, twenty-fourth uh, of uh, February. Uh, so this one we are super deep in the money so we'll see what happens with this one and then we have these other uh you know shares or positions that we do want to get to 100 shares and uh, we can eventually start selling covered calls we'll see what happens the last one we have here is the schd cash secured puts that we do have seven of these i wouldn't mind getting assigned 700 shares of schd that would be super awesome but uh in general we are actually up in the uh, gains where we could actually close this out and uh, make about 41 percent on the premium i'm gonna let see if we can get this to expire worthless or we get assigned the 700 shares but uh definitely gonna be super uh you know exciting to see what happens there if we look at the performance you'll see that we are actually up about one thousand two hundred ninety one dollars and sixteen cents uh, which uh, you'll see the market or the portfolio in general has been going up and uh, if we look over here we're up actually 0.51 percent which is actually mostly the first time we haven't seen this say in the red and uh super cool uh, but overall guys if we look at the investment income we are projected to make about two thousand five hundred forty six dollars and seventy seven cents 
which averages out about $212.23. This includes uh, div uh, interest that we do get from that uninvested cash, uh, but you'll see that for March, we're expected to make about $255.45. April $274.42 and in May $106.82. We'll see what happens. We're going to continue to dollar cost average and bring uh, this projections up much higher because we got to get this to $325 by the end of the year and uh, I think we will achieve it. But uh, if we look at the history here guys, we can go ahead and get started. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you guys all the trades we did this week. So if I show you here, we'll see that we started this on the 30th of January, 2023, all the way till the 5th of uh, February, 2023. We actually scroll all the way to the very bottom. You'll see that uh, we actually have some expired uh, covered calls. This was from the previous week. But uh, you'll see on the 30th, we ended up doing a sell to open on Microsoft. So we did a covered call on Microsoft for 255 strike price that expired on the 3rd of February. We collected about $78.35 uh, after fees. And then we did on the 30th, we also did a sell to open on Altria. We did a covered call, $46.50. That also expired on the 3rd of February. We collected about $4.35. And then guys, on the same exact day, we did a buy to close uh, the covered call from Microsoft that was 255 strike price that expired on the 3rd. Uh, we paid $37.65, so we got to keep the difference. Almost $50 right there that we got to keep, so pretty awesome within a couple hours. Uh, and then you'll see that on the 31st, we actually got the JP Morgan dividend of $137.23 pretty awesome juicy dividend there doing absolutely nothing our portfolio is going to work for us on the 31st as well we did a sell to open so we ended up actually selling another covered call on microsoft for 255 dollars that also expired on the third uh, we ended up collecting 68 dollars and 35 cents and uh, you'll see that on the first of february the jp morgan dividend got reinvested so it's a drip it almost bought one full share, so that was pretty awesome there. And then you'll see on the 2nd of February, we ended up depositing $120, so $100 to dollar cost average, and then $20 because we did get a dividend from JP Morgan. Uh, you'll see on the 2nd as well, we got an American Towers dividend. This was $8.02. This was before we actually sold majority of our positions there uh, because we did meet the ex dividend date, so we got to keep this uh, cash uh, there. But on the 3rd, of february we did a buy on jp morgan which was the 20 dollars uh, we bought about 0.14 shares and then uh, you'll see that we also bought a target full share uh, so pretty sweet there and then guys on the third we did a buy well actually this one was actually a roll so on the third we did a sell to open actually no sorry we did a buy to close so we had the covered calls on apple that was 138 strike price that expired on the 3rd of February. There was two of these. We paid $3,521.31 to actually close these. And then uh, we immediately did a sell to open on that same. Uh, we sold the same exact strike price, but we rolled it all the way till the 17th of February. Uh, this was two of these. Uh, they paid us $3,588.61. So you can subtract the difference. And that's how much we made in profit from uh, actually rolling this. And uh, we got to keep our shares so far. The next one we did do here, uh, we did end up actually doing a buy to close. We rolled uh, the JP Morgan covered call. That was 140 strike price that expired on the 3rd. Uh, we paid $76.65 and we did a sell to open uh, that also expires. Well, I guess the strike price was 142. So we went up about $2 and uh, this one does expire on the 10th of February. Uh, we actually collected $101.35, so we got to keep the difference there. Uh, so that's what about maybe $30, 20 something dollars. And uh, we got to keep our shares as well. The next one we did as well here was we did end up doing another roll. So we bought to close the Altria $146 strike price that expired on the 3rd of February. Uh, we paid uh, $20.65. And uh, we did a sell to open for uh, Altria for $47 strike price. So we went up about 50 cents and uh, we went out for one week and uh, we collected $32.35. So we got to make about $11 or so. And the last one we actually do have is we ended up having to roll the Microsoft uh, covered call that we had. So we did a buy to close. We bought back the 255 strike price 
Microsoft for that expired on the 3rd of February. And then we did a sell to open on uh, Microsoft for $257.50. So we went up about $2.50 and then we went out one week further out and that uh, we collected $424.35. So we got to keep the difference there. So that was pretty awesome there. Uh, so we're gonna continue to manage these covered calls. Hopefully we don't get exercised and uh, would definitely love to keep my shares, just keep the premium. But uh, let's go ahead and see how much we made in dividends this week for doing absolutely nothing. So I got this button called Calculate Dividends. Uh, this adds up all the dividends we uh, actually got this week. So let's go ahead and click on it. And uh, guys, we made $145.25 for doing absolutely nothing. Gotta love passive income. Definitely love it. And uh, we're going to see if we can continue to increase this over time. But uh, guys, let's go ahead and uh, go over the seven companies that are expected to raise their dividend and or, you know, not raise, but announce a dividend raise in the month of February. So let's go ahead and go over there. So the first company is going to be 3M, guys. Uh, this is actually the list is not in order by dividend growth this time. So uh, this is just uh, in random. But the first company is 3M. Uh, currently trading about $117.49. Uh, if we look at the dividend summary, you'll see that their dividend yield is 5.07%. Annual payout is $5.96. Payout ratio is 59.01%. And the five-year Kager is 4.86%. Uh, dividend growth is over 50, 64 years. They are dividend kings. Uh, they do pay out quarterly. And uh, they pay about $1.49 every single quarter. We will see if they actually do end up uh, raising their dividend. I know they have been in a lot of trouble lately. But uh, if we look at the dividend history here. Uh, if we look at uh, 2021. Uh, you'll see that uh, on the... 8th of february 2022 they ended up paying announcing a dollar 49 cents uh, and if we look at the previous quarter uh, they were paying a dollar 48 cents so they raised it about one penny if we look at the 2021 on the 2nd of february they ended up uh, paying one dollar 48 cents in the previous quarter a dollar 47 cents so they've been just raising it by one penny every single uh, year but uh, it looks like they do announce it between February uh, 2nd through February 8th. Uh, we'll see uh, if they do announce it next week and we will see how that plays out, guys. But let's go ahead and go over the second one, which is HD, the Home Depot. So currently trading about $331.50. We look at the dividend summary you'll see that the dividend yield is 2.29 percent uh, annual payout is seven dollars and sixty cents payout ratio is 45.81 percent and then uh, five uh, five year kager which is 16.38 uh, percent pretty awesome there definitely love home depot dividend growth it shows 13 years but i know uh, seeking alpha has been known to have this incorrect so let me know if this is uh, invalid uh, they do pay out quarterly and uh, they would pay you a dollar 90 cents uh, per uh, every share you do have every three months pretty sweet there if i show you guys here the dividend history if we look uh, right here on the 22nd of February 2022, they did announce a dollar and 90 cents dividend. If we look at the previous quarter, they paid a dollar 65 cents. So they did a huge dividend raise last year. If we look at 2021, on the 23rd of February 2021, uh, they did announce a dollar 65 cents. And in the previous quarter, they were paying one dollar 50 cents. So I'm hoping we will see a dividend raise from Home Depot between the 22nd through the maybe the 25th of February. Uh, we will see what happens there. Let's go ahead and move on to the third one which is guys t-r-o-w t-row price group uh, which currently trades about 125 dollars and 82 cents if we look down here to the dividend summary you can see their dividend yield is 3.81 percent annual payout is four dollars 80 cents and uh you'll see the payout ratio is 59.93 percent five-year kicker is actually very very awesome which is 16.05 percent Dividend growth uh, number of years, as shows 36 years. Uh, they do pay out quarterly, which is about a dollar and 20 cents for every share you do get paid. Uh, and then if we look at the dividend history here, you'll see that on the 8th of February, 2022, uh, they ended up uh, paying $1.20. The previous quarter, they were paying $1.08. If we look at 2021, just for example, on the 9th of February of 2021, they were paying $1.08 and then the previous quarter they were paying $0.90 cents. so pretty sweet 
uh, growth there for dividends. Uh, we should see the raise potentially be announced around the 9th or 8th of February, and uh, we will see there. Let's go ahead and jump to the next one, which is, guys, uh, BBY, which is Best Buy. So currently trading about $90.32. If we look at the dividend scorecard, on the dividend yield here is 3.90 percent uh, annual payout is three dollars 52 cents uh, payout ratio is 48.75 percent five-year kager is 20.95 percent very very juicy five-year kager their dividend growth is showing that it's 12 years that they've been growing their dividend uh, quarterly uh, frequency is what they pay out and they pay out 88 cents every single quarter let's go ahead and see the dividend history here if we look at uh, the last quarter you'll see that on the march 3rd 2022 they did uh, pay 88 cents and then the previous quarter they were paying 70 cents and then if we look at 2021 they were on the 25th of uh, february 2021 they were paying 70 cents and uh, then they ended up uh, previous quarter was 55 cents uh, you can kind of look around that they do typically announce a dividend raise uh, or i guess they declare the dividend around the 25th of february all the way till the 3rd of march so we will see when they do announce this definitely going to be exciting and uh, let's go ahead and move on to the sixth uh, actual company that is expected to raise a dividend and that is guys uh, ko the coca-cola company which is currently trading about 59 dollars and 83 cents and then if we look at the dividend summary you'll see that they do uh, have a 2.94 percent dividend yield uh, you'll see that uh, annual payout is one dollar 76 cents per share and uh, they do pay out a payout ratio is 70.16 percent five-year kager is very very low 3.53 percent and then dividend growth uh, it's over 60 years which they are dividend kings uh, dividend frequency is quarterly which is about 44 cents per uh, quarter pretty awesome there you'll see that the dividend history on the 17th of february 2022 they were paying 44 cents previous quarter 42 cents if we look at uh, february 18th 2021 they were paying 42 cents previous quarter 41 cents so they will be getting a dividend raise or announcing a dividend around the 18th or 17th of february uh, we'll see if that does play out. Let's go ahead and move on to the last one, guys, which is actually in my dividend growth portfolio, and that is WM Waste Management Inc. Currently trading about $151.06. If we look down here to the dividend scorecard, you'll see that the dividend yield is 1.72% annual payout is two dollars and sixty cents and then the payout ratio is 46.33 percent five-year kager guys is 8.87 percent uh, dividend growth is 19 years they do pay out quarterly and then uh, they pay out 65 cents every single quarter if we look at the dividend history for us uh, you'll see that on the 1st of March of 2022, they did pay out uh, 65 cents. Previous quarter was 57, uh, 57 cents. And then if we look at the 2021, so February uh, 23rd of 2021, they were paying 57 cents. Previous quarter, they were paying 54 cents. And then on the 18th of uh, February 2020, they were paying 54 cents. And then the previous uh you know quarter 51 cents so it will be around the 18th to potentially the first of march when we should expect a uh, announced dividend from waste management let me know in the comment section if you own any of these companies definitely would love to hear that and uh, let's go ahead and wrap up this video by going over the how much we actually grew the dividend snowball this uh, week so i'm here in the dashboard guys you guys can see i already have a copy from uh, last week here on how much we are projected we should see this much higher by the end of the video if we look at the dividend payout uh, you'll see that uh, we are expected a couple companies let's go ahead and see if we can go ahead go to portfolio tools get latest dividends and see if we can get uh, if any new companies we should see the apple one come up because they did have uh, earnings this past week and uh, we'll see when they do pay out uh, the dividend for the month of february uh, so you'll see looks like it's done we are expected to get dividend uh, from apple and uh, then we're gonna get costco and then we're gonna get starbucks for the month of february so about three companies definitely looking forward to it 
I want to show you guys here the options income that we made. So again, for the first week of uh, February, we ended up making $325.79. You guys can see that right here. Uh, January total $2,569.07, uh, uh, which total so far for the year, we've made $2,894.86. Uh, I'm not sure how this is going to play out, especially because a lot of the positions I do have are deep in the money. We're going to continue to manage these, so we might not make profits in the coming months unless we have a huge pullback. But uh, that's what definitely makes uh, this exciting. Uh, definitely, I chose strike prices that I wouldn't mind my positions getting sold out. Definitely would not love to uh, get my positions sold if I can possibly, uh, you know, manage it but uh, we will see what happens there uh, if we look at the settings here you'll see that uh, if we go ahead and delete this we can uh, actually jump over to personal capital so that we can get the latest copy of our portfolio holdings from this past week which contains all our positions so i'll see you guys over there all right guys so we're at personal capital on my schwab account you'll see this green button that's called copy holdings click on it this copies the content of my portfolio holdings into the clipboard which then we can jump back over to the holdings right click pay special values only and that should have all our purchases from this past week if we go over here to holdings this is our holdings from last week which this should get updated once i go to portfolio tools update portfolio holdings this will get wiped and it'll parse out the new uh, content we just pasted so let's go ahead and do that click on it you'll give it a second or two you'll see everything's getting parsed if we jump back over here to the dashboard you'll see uh, that we are uh, waiting and it looks like uh, the dividend yield for us is 1.19 uh, percent uh, compared to last week uh, 1.20 percent which remember the portfolio did go up in value but uh, you'll see the projected dividend yield on cost which is 2.70 percent compared to 2.63 percent so it's gone up uh, yearly we're projected to make about two thousand two hundred ninety eight dollars fifty cents we went up about nine dollars or so uh, monthly we're actually projected to make 191.54 uh, cents so that is pretty sweet there uh, we look at the weekly uh, we're projected to make about 17 more cents from last week on the daily we're projected to make about three pennies every single day now that goes forward hourly we're still making about 26 cents every single hour and then our hourly work wage this is if our portfolio was to go work a 40 hour work week they would get projected to make about one dollar and 11 cents every single hour uh, so this is pretty awesome we did get a raise by one penny so i guess the portfolio was doing very very awesome and uh we're gonna eventually try to get this to minimum wage but uh yeah guys this is actually all i have for you guys uh make sure that you subscribe with that bell notification help me reach the 20,000 subscriber mark definitely would appreciate it as well if you drop a big thumbs up on the video and if you stuck all the way to the very end be sure to drop a hashtag raises because there are quite a couple companies that are expected to raise a, their dividend in the month of february let me know in the comment section if you own any of those companies and uh i will talk to you guys later take care stay safe out there bye guys